Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Oh, right. I can't remember what I'm doing. I know I'm on my way to the end of uh, Act 2. I nearly called it Chapter 2. Very cool. Let's go! Oh yeah, this is the Yeti. God damn, it's like Yeti Central. Ah! <laughs> it looks like he just... It was like he just lobbed a stone at the other Yeti and killed it. Are they Yeti or are they like Frost Trolls? Who cares? That's, that's, that's all that matters. Who the bloody hell cares? They are things that are going to die by my hand. And that is all that matters. And oh my god, there's loads. Yeah, we've been against more. Who are they? They hurt. Though they do keep hitting each other, which, you know, I'm all for. Get the hell out of here. I win. I got something plus two. Alright, I got a plus two something. God, these healing potions are terrible. I mean, they, they're serviceable, they're just not great. They barely heal me. They remind me of um, how useless the lesser potions became pretty damn fast. There we go. Just whack. Guard. Whack. Ooh, I got two whacks. That keeps going over me. I win! Nice. They dropped a quiver. Perfect. And whether I actually have to go back to the mining camp or not before the, uh, before chapter act. I keep calling chapters. I'm obsessed. I just call everything a chapter. Before act three. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It just, it entirely depends on the amount of crap I have. So I think once you've dealt with the boss fight, like the, the final boss for the chapter. Oh, which might be here. Uh, maybe not. I don't think you can leave. Oh, okay. Like, I don't think you can go back to where you can sell stuff. What the hell are you? Whoa! Oh. I will just kill you. There we go. So, so basically, you should stand in the water, then you can see where it's coming from. Woo! Uh, am I surrounded? No. I think that was just a ripple that I created. Why is the music so intense? It's, it's an enemy that can turn invisible. Actually, fun story. Back when I was a lot younger, I was absolutely terrified of any single enemy in any game if it could turn invisible. Yeah, 100%. I, I know this because um, I used to have Project Snowblind on the original Xbox. It's a game I've actually covered. So clearly I'm still not terrified by that kind of thing. Which is, oof, a good job really. Hey Tall Bunny, oh god. But um, no I had Project Snowblind on the original Xbox so when I was a lot younger, like maybe, I don't know how old I was, between 10 and 13 maybe? Which means I, I know I shouldn't have been playing Project Snowblind, I was a bad kid. Blah blah. Um, but no, there's, there's one level in Project Snowblind where you end up going against enemies that are, you know, for the time, completely invisible. And I was terrified. I don't know, I just kept thinking that an invisible enemy was something really, really scary. And they really aren't, especially Project Snowblinds, because you can see the enemies, <laughs> even if they're invisible. It's just one of those things that it's quite funny to look back at. Kind of the same, same sort of feeling of uh, looking back at when I first played Left 4 Dead, because that was also a game I was absolutely terrified of. Which is uh, kind of pathetic to admit, really, because it's, oh my god, it's Left 4 Dead. It's like the least scary game ever. But I do remember the first time I played, it was Left 4 Dead 2 actually. But no, I played that. And when I first came across a witch, I had no idea what a witch was, so of course I walked directly up to her. And she screamed in my face, I turned off the Xbox and that was that. <laughs> ah, god. Good times. I would definitely say I'm much better when it comes to actual scary games. Of which I definitely don't consider Left 4 Dead. Ah, there's a save point here. Yes, nice. 
<coughs> Hold up. Oh, there's nothing. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave. There's nothing really that interesting. Down to down. This looks like it's leading outside. But okay. Hmm. Should I save? Probably. Do it! I also want to check my weight again. I don't want to get to a boss, or to the boss fight. <clears throat> like the, the end of act boss fight. And not have enough room to pick up stuff, because I won't be able to get rid of it. I don't want to make sacrifices. Screw that, I want to hoard everything and then sell it off for a profit. That's just the way it works. That's a masterwork like mess. It's terrible. 2 to 12. Woo! It would take me like 700 hits to kill anything. Did I run into an enemy? Oh god, I knew it. I... Okay, I thought the game was just being weird. So I could have sworn I ran into something. Is it an invisible wall? Or oh, rush. I missed. Ah, oh, there's one behind me. Whatever, you just wail on it, it works. Are oh, you mean in the, uh, the CRPGs? Because, uh, yeah. I haven't on the channel, but I have played them. I actually played the original releases before, you know, before the Enhanced Edition became available. Still bums me out that Icewind Dale 2 is never gonna get an Enhanced Edition. Because the, uh, the Master Files have been lost. I would just love to be able to have the entire, like, collection enhanced, so like, I know Planescape doesn't really count, but to me it counts. So like, you know, Planescape Torment, Icewind Dale 1 and 2, and then Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. That'd be a dream come true, but sadly never gonna happen. It depends. If you like reading. 90% of that game is reading. Well, maybe not Baldur's Gate. I'm probably not really mixing it up with Planescape Torment. How much is the Enhanced Edition? I mean, it doesn't matter. I think it's worth any price. Well, any reasonable price. I wouldn't pay hundreds for any game. But if it seems like a good deal, I would definitely say it's rec I'd recommend it. I don't know if I've gone the right way. I probably have. Snow wolves! Oh my god! Wait, will this link? Maybe. Ooh! Oh, hi! Holy crap, it's an ice giant. A frost giant, even. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want- what the bloody hell? Oh dear. Oh, Jesus. But to be fair, in terms of CRPGs, I would probably gush more about Planescape Torment, because that, that game is just really good. It's just a game that's got incredible writing and character development. Come on! I don't want to get hit by this guy because he hurts. I think those games would probably be better played on PC. Then again, I have Pillars of Eternity on a... Uh, I've got... wait. Yeah, I've got Pillars of Eternity on Xbox. And... I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that plays pretty damn decently. But 20... 20 bucks each. I'd still say it's worth it. Have you checked, um... I highly doubt it'll be available, but... Have you checked Fanatical? Because they usually do bundles for... Those. Like for the Baldur's Gate... Series, or collection, bundle, I guess. I think that's where I got Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 enhanced. Was through Fanatical. 
Oh, Bundle Stars. I can't remember what it was, what their name was back when I got it. But 20 bucks for a game that is like upwards of 40 hours. It's not necessarily that the PC version is better, it's more the fact that it would be easier to control because, you know, mouse and keyboard, and it's a CRPG. But I haven't played the console version, so I can't comment. I've played the console version of Tides of Numenera, or Tom and Tides of Numenera, and that plays pretty good, but the difference between Baldur's Gate and Torment is Torment is a lot more reading. Whereas Baldur's Gate focuses more on the combat. Or, more so, it has more of a focus on combat. Oh god, Frost Spiders. Ew! Frost Spiders that have a shitload of health! But regardless, my thoughts are... They're, they're worth it. If you like RPGs. Oh okay. god. Holy shit. I don't like all these spiders. They have so much health. Give me the Champions of Norath spiders, please. They at least went down easily. Even if they did look a lot worse, because they were bigger. Though, in Kromlik's eyes, these things are probably terrifying because they're about the same size as him. Get the hell out of here. Can I... Mm. It's about to say, can I stop attacking thin air, please? Oh, I nearly killed myself! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't know they were explosive barrels. God, if I'd have died, that would have sucked. That would have sent me all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, that should be a sign to save. Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. If I can get through this game without killing myself to explosive barrels, that will be a first. Oh, God, that, that gave me a, one hell of a scare. Does this link to anything? Probably not. Oh my god. <coughs> what the hell? Okay, there's too many bloody paths. Yeah, I prefer when, you know, I know where I'm going, or where the right and the wrong way is. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh god, I'm glad it didn't kill me. That was bloody close though. I probably survived with like 1 or 2 HP. So if those spiders had gotten one more good hit on me, I would have absolutely died. Oh fuck. Yep. I knew they would poison. Oh fuck. Yeah, just use every potion. This thing can attack fast. And that poison is bad. This poison, man, Jesus. Am I even blocking? Hold up. I don't understand, I don't think I am. Oh, it's because it's the poison's like stunning me. Oh, that's bullshit. I may as well just go bloody ham on this thing. Holy crap. Yep, poison is no joke. Jesus. Please say it's a dead end. Hallelujah. I think I need to go back to town. I think I've used up a lot of my potions. Yep, I have 13 left. Alright. Beep -de -deep. God, poison sucks. I mean, I always knew poison sucked, but that was... <laughs> that was a wake-up call. And now where am I going? Frostwolf? Kill the fucking wolf! Oh great, another one comes along. Uh, don't- no, I don't. You have three potions. You have a health potion, a recall potion, and a mana potion. Or a rejuvenation potion. 
and that's basically it. Even in like the others you didn't have an antidote. Poison was just one of those things you had to deal with. <coughs> God, I keep getting shit stuck in my throat. Come on. Okay, there's a save point here. That's a good sign. I'm using it. Actually, <laughs> I've almost died and I don't think I've saved since I started. Oh no, I saved at the start of level 2. Even still. Don't want to have to redo everything. Hooray! And I think I'm going to have to go back to the village to buy potions. There's no way I'm going to survive a boss fight with 10 potions. Okay, that hurts. Yes, especially with how potent po uh, poison seems to be. Not having something that allows you to get rid of it kind of sucks. Can you stop stomping me? There we go. No, we didn't. I thought you died, you dick. I guess that was just him getting stunned. He's now he's dead. I think. There we go. Woo! God. I'm running low on potions. Oh god, and of course there's more of these douchebags. Where'd you come from? Okay, where the fuck did the spider come from? There's nowhere that I saw it. It appeared in the water. I swear. Okay, it's dead. I have four potions left, and I'm being slowed. It stacks! Can't believe it. I'm really running low. Oh my god. Alright, now I'm out of potions. There goes most of my health too. Son of a bitch. Oh god. Woo! Did I really? Oh my god, I think I just survived. Nice. I got a potion. Right, I am recalling. Holy fuck. This place sucks. It's just the frost giants and the bloody spider. I think poison wouldn't have been so bad if it can't stun you, or if it couldn't stun you. This isn't the place for that. Yeah, they don't do that like they do in Skyrim. Which is a, po a bonus. I help you, brother? Oh god, I forgot you don't shut up talking, do you? Welcome, brother. No, it's the same. That one looks cooler, though. Should have sold whichever one was the more expensive. I'm honestly surprised. Oh, uh, never mind. If you're in need of a weapon, <sighs> come to the right place. I was gonna say I'm surprised he hasn't said more, but then he started talking. Right, give me your finest potions. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Swords, axes, hammers. We have more than I'll enough do. Whip. How many potions do I have? Fifty-five. Perfect. Back we go! Oh my god. But as I was saying, um, poison would be better if it couldn't stun you. The fact you can be blocking while poisoned and then it will stun you and take you out of being- or take you out of blocking is kinda shitty. I think that's why I took so much damage from the spider. It's because I thought I was blocking but I wasn't. So I was essentially just tanking the spider. Oh nice, now they're giving me potions. Really wish that the health potions were better though. Does he even tell you how much they recover? No. <laughs> Take a guess. 50 HP, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, it's probably not even that much. Hmm. What else are we gonna have to deal with? God, this place is huge. There's another from fucking douchebag. Damn it. Damn it. Oof. There we go, Dad. Woo! Yeah, that's usually the case. 
Actually, if you want a game that has a really shitty poison mechanic, play Brave Fencer Musashi. Mostly because the game's good, but if you get poisoned, it is such a miserable experience. You can't run, and you end up- you can only walk while you are poisoned. It's the worst. And I don't believe there's an antidote in that game either. But yeah, by far that is, uh, oh, that takes the cake for the worst poison mechanic in a game. Or in a game I've played, anyway. There might be a worse poison mechanic out there, not debating that. It's just, that's the worst I've ever come across. Oh my god, you hurt. I fuck god, every enemy in this place blows. Are you fucking serious? Ugh. There we go. Jesus. Alright, well, he better have dropped like 10 potions. Alright, cool. We're done. Ugh. Oh, no, we're not. I just realized this leads elsewhere. Kinda hard to spot, really. Mm. Oh. Well, I thought it led somewhere. I was wrong. Where else can I go? I can go up there. There's a path over there. There's too many paths. Well, I have nearly leveled up, which will be nice. I think I might just want to put more points into... Um... Dodge. So then my armor class is at least higher. Fuck. Oh, is this a dead end? Actually, I hope it is. Uh, yeah, it's a dead end. No giant. If I had a switch, maybe. But I don't know if I'd want to play Rise, honestly. I was spoiled by Monster Hunter World in terms of, well, how little grinding you had to do. Or how little farming you had to do for materials. Whereas I think Rise is a step back to the way Monster Hunter used to be. And I don't want that. I much preferred Monster Hunter World's approach, where you could find abundance of everything. I could be wrong though, but even still I don't have a Switch. <coughs> and that is a game that I highly doubt will come to anything but Switch. Unfortunately. I know quite a lot of people didn't like Monster Hunter World because of how generous it was with materials and stuff. But definitely, for me especially, it was a, a nice change. Or a welcome change. Even still, from what I've seen of it, it doesn't look very... very much like Monster Hunter World. It, I think it's probably going to go back to the way it was with the other Monster Hunters. Oh, oh, really? Oh my god, you fucking hurt. Jesus. I have, I have a mountain of games in my backlog, so, you know, the less new games I have, the better. But I mean, I'm interested in it, because it's, well, I'm interested in how it plays, I guess. Because it's Monster Hunter, and I've always quite liked Monster Hunter. I've been with the series since the first release on PSP, and PS2. Now, I know, I know some people did criticise that Monster Hunter World made it a bit, oh, I don't know if generous is the word, but, you know, it was a lot easier to farm materials. Oh, it's not like the old school games, so you don't have to play the same missions over and over and over and over and over again. Just to get materials. Well... That's positive, I guess. <gasps> There's a chest! 
There are three chests. Oh, fuck, it's the dragon. Can I just leave? Syraxis. Can I leave? Nope. Magical force. Watch your path. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't think this can. This is going to be a fun fight. Oh, we do have some chests. Ooh, nice. Gives me all the stuff I need. Oh. Yeah, that was the thing I liked with Monster Hunter World, is you could just go on an expedition to an area, and then farm all the stuff you needed. Instead of having to keep doing the same quests or same hunts. Just to get a certain piece from, like, an enemy you fought. But, I guess we'll see. As I say, there's a mountain of other games I want to cover anyway. Oh my, that hurts. I don't like the ice physics. Ah, this sucks. Ooh. Can these fucking snowballs just piss off? Oh, great. Well, I wasn't even close to that, but sure. Oh, I am slow as fuck. Nice. Okay. It's like getting hit with the last blast. The lack of creativity with weapons? Wait, what do you mean? All the weapons in the game are the exact same as every other monster hunter. With a few new ones added, like the uh, the, blo the bug insect glaive thing. I can't remember what it was called. Fuck. Oh my god. I mean, we're getting there, but my god, this thing sucks. It got hit by its own snowball. Yeah! Nice. We're getting there. Oh, he's actually getting bloody. I love how much detail there is in this. I win! With some Toby Fair on it. I mean, that's no different than the other games. But to be fair, I, I didn't really care when it came to the weapons. I used the bow for 99% of everything, so... The fact the bow was completely different and way better was all that really mattered to me. Toughness. Oh, I can go with death blow. Mm. From what I remember, I don't remember them being totally unique. Ah, oh, bollocks. Yeah, sure. Especially when it came to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, 90% of the starting weapons were just bones. Literally just bones shaped into different ways, and then quite a lot of them didn't really change. Act 3! Maybe! That did not take that long to get to. How long is Act 3? I am a bow man. And if I'm not a bow main, then I usually stick with the katana. But I really like the bow. Mostly because I could actually control it with the second stick. Which is a f Is so nice. And also the fact you could move around while aiming, which, again, you couldn't do in the others. When you only had access to one stick. Uh, yeah. So I used that for most. Use the bow for everything, and I'm pretty sure, yeah I did, soloed all bosses, at least all the bosses I remember. Not like that's a feat or anything. 
Some of them were a bloody bastard, though. Like, essentially, the quicker... The quicker an enemy was, the harder it... The harder it was to use a bow. I just love making the, like, arrows rain down on enemies. God oh, damn, these things are just exploding with goodies. Nice. But yeah, I guess we'll see what comes of Rise. I'm not really fussed if I don't get it. I mean, I've, co I've covered two Monster Hunter games. Oop. But again, since I've played World, I don't know if I could go back to the way they used to be. Did they just explode? 91,000. Oh my god. I did get a chain helmet plus two. Holy fuck, never mind. <gasps> what? Holy crap. Woo! They look fancy. That looks this, the same. Oh, beautiful. Flaming Morning Star. Ah, it's crap. It's actually quite surprising. From Act One, I did do Freedom Unite. I wouldn't recommend watching it though, because I'm pretty sure I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I used cheats. I didn't use anything crazy, as far as I remember. But I didn't do anything to alter my. Um, like damage I took or anything. It was just looting. Essentially because I didn't want to spend 40 hours outside of each session. The only, my only regret with that is that I wasn't upfront about it and I tried to hide that, which I shouldn't have done. So at the end of the day, I used, I used cheats, yes, but it didn't exactly change the game. It just meant I didn't have to replay a bunch of missions. I mean, you can watch it, but just know that I was using a cheat. Because I get so many people asking, like, how were you able to loot this X many X amount of times? And I'm just sick of saying <laughs> at this point. Oh, well, I use cheats, so I apologize if that has spoiled your... Oh, you know, left a dirty impression. But yeah, I get, I'm just really sick of hearing. <laughs> Not about, like, Freedom Unite or anything. But, you know, the snarky comments. It's like, I didn't know this enemy had... Whatever, I can't remember the comments I get. I just know I get a lot of them. But at the end of the day, it's not the people leaving comments fault, it's my own for not saying anything. Ugh. But I mean, for the most part, I use, well, I use cheats in games where it's... where it makes sense to. That doesn't really make sense. I mean, the best example I can give is, like, Mega Man. So, like, I use unlimited lives on that. Essentially, I use cheats to save myself time. <laughs> but I don't use any game-breaking ones, like unlimited health and all that shit. I, I don't cheat in multiplayer. I don't even play multiplayer games. But I know how people look upon people that use cheats, so... I guess that's why I just didn't say that I was cheating. I cared far too much about what people thought. And I, that's probably my biggest regret. Not the fact I covered Monster Hunter, because it is a really good game and I did enjoy the series. I just regret that I didn't say anything. I should have just said, I'm using a cheat so I can uh, I can loot unlimited amounts of times. If you have a problem with that, then there is the door. Oh no, I can't carry shit. 
But yeah, what happens when you're young and dumb? And care what people think. Oh, they're zombie. Okay, yeah, I remember these. When they die, they give off a nice stink cloud, which poisons. Fun. 